Hello and welcome back to a brand spanking new for, um, let's play of more Warhammer in the Crusader Kings 2. Um, I've told um, I've told you guys about this in the uh, previous episode of Warhammer Part 17, I believe. Uh, for our green skin campaign, that I wanted to do something else. Now, big surprise, there is. Let's see. A there we go. This is a Dwarven Republic. Um, I'm selecting it like this because it's not in this list for some reason. I think that's because he is not a full functioning Republic just of yet. Anyway, we're gonna make our own Dwarf. I think he's gonna share some similarities with, um, with our Dwarf from Lord of the Rings. That's the hairstyle. Uh, not the beard like that. Eh, it's fine. We don't care so much about it. Now, since we're a republic, I want to have something that resembles a bit more trade. Hmm, the anvil might do it. Yeah, most definitely. Eh, well, that looks trady enough. Now let's make it slightly more appealing to look at. And I'm not really a fan of the color yellow. Ugh. I don't want something black. White. Yes, that looks something good. Now, um, we'll of course be named Dimosa. And our dynasty. It's not really. The Saurian isn't really dwarvish now, is it? Eh. We're traders, we're exotic. So let's do this. We will be a. Hmm, is there anything that's specifically in trade? A diplomacy. So it, we will be mainly Midas touched. Um, right. Let's start doing some stuff. We'll be wounded. We'll be stressed or depressed. And we should be a. Well, yeah, hmm. Okay, we'll wait for that. Um, let's see, we'll be gluttonous, uh, slothful, new. No. We'll be diligent. Um, we'll be deceitful, not shy, not arbitrary. We'll be cynical. Will we be trusting? Balance us out a little bit, gives us more minus points. We'll not be cruel. This just doesn't fit us. I think we won't much up for that yet. Okay, we'll not be in Fertile, because that is a problem. Eesh, that's not looking right. Um let's see, we've got engineers, dwarf. We need to figure out where the dwarf trade is. Some mounts. That'd be brilliant. Uh, okay, that means we'll skip. Beautiful. <laughs> Added a lot of points. Will not be a dwarf mason. Sounds awesome though. Masterful dwarf mason. Will be just a dwarf. Huh. Don't really need that. Let's see, some law stuff. This is about the magic stuff, still don't really understand how that works. And dwarf. Crap, that means we cannot create a custom dwarf even if we tried. Hmm. <laughs> the amount of points that it takes is. Geez. Um. Let's see if we can get some... Nah, this is impossible. We cannot get enough minus points even if we tried. There isn't... Incapacitated. Nah, that's not really not gonna work. So, we cannot create a custom dwarf then. That kinda sucks. Well, I guess it will be our son that is... The first Domoso, and um... We'll uh, be unable to call um, 
ourselves the Dressarium family. It's a shame, but that's what it is. Too bad it costs 203 points to become a dwarf. Hmm. Wonder why is that expensive? Um, on a purely canon experience. Now, one problem: um, we start the Republic. It's non-existent. It's a weird thing. That's because we actually have a castle. If we put that, give it to a vassal, then on day two, there we go. All the great houses appear, and now we are a fully functioning Republic. It's that simple. Stop running. So there we are. Once again, back in the world of Warhammer. This time, we'll be dwarves. And we will... We'll be Republican dwarves. Right, so, let's get married. Start doing stuff. So we are patient, gregarious, ambitious. Good. Brave. We're nothing. A dwarf, and we're a dutiful cleric. So let's find a wife. Apparently, all available women are th theologians. Most of them are not even dwarves. Oh, crap. We might want to invite some people in our realm. Okay, let's start doing the basic stuff you always do to start. Appoint you, appoint you. That's weird, I never thought I could appoint these guys. I d I've barely touched and we can't get a court chaplain. That's funny. Uh, we'll approve diplomatic relations with our liege. We'll research military tech here. Economic tax, perhaps. Oversee construction for now. Scheme. Is this. Well, should be. Our laws. Can't really do much about that. Centralization. One law that we could do. Military. We have some, which is surprising to be honest. That means we've got some holdings that are not interesting for us. Wait, our city must have 700? Huh, there's slightly more troops than I was expecting that we would have. Alright, we'll go into the business. And we'll... do you don't want to become king. Hmm. Piety, it's gonna be difficult. Alright, um, then the claim that can be created. Should I? Cost me nearly all of my gold. I don't think it's that interesting for now. Anyway, let's stop building some buildings. Um, this is the reason it's already quite improved. Let's see. This is more taxes. Some. Okay, levy size. This is tax income. Alright, not really interested in any of that. Wow, we're lucky that we apparently already got some stuff here. Okay. Army, 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 retinue, army, army, marshal, learning and intrigue. What gives me more trade ships? Oh, right, that's the just the mansion. Okay. Um, so got our council position. Let's get our intrigue. Give assistance to your leads to manage his recently acquired titles and hand them out. Actually, that's funny enough. I thought that I could do that. All right, go tunneling. Does have a lot of wealth of at least 500. Has to trade greedy or brave. Huh. Claim high kingship. Saint Pardon's rank is Iron and Baron. Iron Engineer. Learn Masonry. Um, this is interesting. There are a lot of stuff. There's still a lot of stuff here that is actually quite fascinating. First of all, um, so there's a trade post here, another trade post here, another trade post here, and there's a trade post here. So, um, 
there will be a lot. So this is... Uh, so we're not going to build trade posts in Orcish lands. I'm just trying to get my brain wrapped about it. Trade posts, they do what? Increase my trade range as I believe it does. Can't really see it now. So we'll build at least one here. And then we'll put one here. You're also building one there. I'm not really interested in the river trade. You'll be bordering there. This is next to the river. It's more expensive this probably because of the distance. Yeah, an opinion. So we could not do there. Because there's a trade post there and a trade post there. Are we already building that trade post? Oh shit. Oh, anyway, then that settles that. It's a little bit... Some Vlad. Not a vampire. Uh, Dwarf and priests are clear. Chaos is... The local tavern. Singing dwarves. To a drinking competition. My guy's already drunk. Of course I will accept it. I know. Wow. Haha. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Okay, um. Okay, let's go. Enforce and Harrington's is. You are leased under here. Alright. To be honest. Nah, we'll just keep it like that. Um. Let's see. I won't know what happens when I hire an engineer, but we first, so we go tunneling. Lowers my fertility, not right now. Invite. Debutant and a noble. I'm on a holy man actually. Court chaplain. So there must be something wrong with the religions that is. Um, we'll just do that. Um, Alright. Oh, I don't know what it is. She's actually perfect. She's a Midas touched. She's a beardling. Hmm. <laughs> I don't really mind. She's patient. She's brave. She's gregarious. She's Midas touched, though. That's what the main reason I want her. Arrange marriage. Right. Fine. Um, we can currently actually really use the gold. Now I want a son first before we, or son or a daughter, at least somebody to give the empire to. My heir is my vassal, the republic. Look how much wealth are we making? Not that much. So this will be, if we're going to compare this to all the other Let's Plays, um, it will be, I think, about a mix between the Dwarven Let's Play and the uh, Warhammer Orcish Let's Play. Um, I think there will be slightly more aggression on the, this one in compared to the Dwarves, but it will be less epically in scale as in the Dwarves one. Um, so it's like, but there will be a lot of stuff like investments uh, happening and that kind of stuff, so... Yeah. It's going to be fun, especially because we're next to the Orcs, so that has got, actually got to be a, a, a slight challenge. We might want to you know, free these lands of the, the, the cruel and well, hideous Orcs. Let's see, where does this harbour uh, have harbors on this region here? So when we look at trade zones, that we should mean... Um, wait, there's no trade post here. Oh, right, here is the, this bit. Here is it this bit. You're on this bit. So there's two. Oh, 
I will... What's to know humans? Hmm. Alright, let's open our stats. 10 learning. Ah, damn it. Okay. So we spend a lot of time in a tavern. It's kind of funny when you're a dwarf. Considering. Oh, so... Oh, wait, this is... Cause... Wait. Uh, I don't know which who we are. We're Kra Kragabom. So this is us. This is us. So this region that we wanted to take has been taken by somebody else. God damn it. Seems like an interesting place to go. This one is already under construction. Oh, well, well. My opponents are quick. That means that we'll probably have to go there. I don't really know what it is with these trade zones, how this works, um, if it just increases your trade value and that kind of stuff, but you know, we'll just build them. So, we are giving it the Iron Side League, which is at least within our own league, so that is a good thing. I'll build him here, I think. Oh right, it's already under construction. Perhaps here. Sounds like an East... An interesting natural port to have access to. Let's see, trade post, one of ours. This is one of ours? Yes, it is. It just raises, just gives us tax. Okay, that's good to know. Like I said, I'm not really. Um, Veronica has been built. Ah, oh, so this one has finally been done. So yes, I'm not the um, guy that is all into all the stuff that's about trading stuff. Stuff, 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 stuff. I was pregnant. Okay, that means we should go and start go tunneling. Just because I want to know what it is. The reason I wanted to um, do it because it was the fertility stuff. So we'll go tunneling. So we've got a regent. Doesn't really discover uh, to f discover what there is to find on the ground. We'll hire an engineer. I don't know what it does. Um, Gimli. Okay. Engineering. Mm hmm. And what does it do? While well, searching the tunnels, your man come upon an ancient structure of your kin. Then why are you searching? It fear of ambush not a threat. What will you do? Well, quite there and bless myself. You recognize some of the runes on the entrance and the engravings on the inside. There is an old shrine of Grungi. You immediately begin prayer. Grungi is the dwarven god. You immediately begin prayer and then search for relics of altar to take home safely. So we got some gold, we got some piety, and we maybe got some learning. Ah, oh, we got some learning. There we go. Suddenly, wild screams of the tunnel. A horde of night comes to turn upon your crew. What will you do? Well, we are. Marshly speaking, fairly decent. A bit of personal combat skill. We've got a bit more brave. So we'll jump in. For Grimnir and our ancestors. 10% chance. We're wounded. And we are wounded. Oh. So we got an engineer in our court, I presume. Gimli. Gimli is not a court. He's a dwarven engineer. How does this work? Because uh, this is a weird event. No clue what I just spent a lot of money on. Um. The main machines are literal artillery in battle. Must have to do with something. Eh, yeah, we'll uh, 
Learn engineering while we're at it. Masonry, sorry. As there is an old woman's tradition, but what about other races? So it's fisk get very respected. A dwarf mason does not only work with building residential areas, but they also are the ones who have the honorable task of building the huge holes and intriguing chambers that cover most of the dwarf's characters. As these structures are some of the magnificent, most magnificent in the known world, so are the dwarf masons rightfully regarded as the best masons in the world, which they are fully aware of and find great pride in. Masonry is not just a way to build their home for a dwarf, it's an art form. Glory to the dwarves. None of this interferes with one another. Ugh. An old wound. Well, it's not that old. Okay. Um, interesting captain of the command of one of your galleys has discovered several new markets along foreign shores. He reported these ports are rife with opportunities for trade and profit. Rule number 62 the risk of the road degraded the profit. Good. How are we on trade zones? So we own this entire region. Good. Now we could go further up river. Because I believe there is three more zones to be had. This one here, this one here, this one here. Not really interested in that right now. Also it looks like we don't even have this bit. But I think that is a... I don't know why it is. Anyway. I think it's time that this is all called the Black Gulf, by the way. It's we should invest in um, getting this entire strait to be ours. So we got ourselves a daughter. I'll name her for now. I don't know if our laws allow daughters to. Nope. And that means that we're gonna leave tunneling for now, because I... Um, we'll just spend the 10 gold. Go to the local tavern. Wow, we've... We fired quite a few events. Alright, you have wounded, you can no longer carry on searching the tunnels. It's time to return home. Okay. Um, while searching the tunnels, a group happens upon an unknown opening in a wall. Do you want to look at it? We won't get riches covered. On we go. As you delve into the tunnel, you can see some on your order deposit. This proves you grab some nugget and mark the location on your map. One stewardship chance? Didn't get it. I wanted no humans better. Doesn't take long for you traders to try to sell you something. In this case, it's a book, which they claim comes from one of the old lost dwarves holds. We could spend the money. Let's see what happens. The book we bought is a dwarf book, but instead of containing lost knowledge, it's a badly written romantic fanfiction. <laughs> it's not said fanfiction, but it's all right. It was uh, it was it was good uh, good read good to try. Um, let's see which provinces will grow richer. That one actually, but this one, where is your harbour? It's in here. So... Hmm. We'll lose a hundred gold, but gain a lot of prestige. We'll gain both. Or we don't care. Greedy and looking deceitful. Well, we need the money. So now is the question which province are we gonna place 50, 37 as one of the richest? So we'll put them here. I don't know if that matters. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. Anyway, I'm gonna cut the video here. I wanna thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Have a very good day. Bye bye.